A very good morning to all of you at the home. Welcome to this special telecast novena session. Please take out your novena booklets or your app to join in prayer as you would in the church. And we will begin with the opening hymn on page 15, How Great Thou Art. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we are grateful to God for the many blessings we receive from Him. To the prayers of our Mother of Perpetual Help, let us once more ask her to pray with us and for us. Our petition is on page 23, petition set 3. That I may have confidence and trust in my daily prayer. that I may have courage and strength in my difficulties. Assist us, o loving mother. When I feel hurt and revengeful. Assist us, o loving mother. To return quickly to Christ when I have sinned. Assist us, o loving mother. When a member of the family is ill. Assist us, o loving mother. When we have problems with money. Assist us, o loving mother. 
when we meet us in dining with one another. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide our young people in living Christ's way of life. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide our leaders to govern justly and fairly for the common good. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide employers to treat the employees well. Assist us, O loving Mother. They may be cherish and protect the life of the unborn. Assist us, O loving Mother. Guide us in a loving concern and understanding for the poor and the deprived. Assist us, loving mother. When we become complacent with no need for God or religion. Assist us, loving mother. May the Holy Father receive courage and strength from the Holy Spirit. Assist us, loving mother. May those who have died share Christ's glory forever. Assist us, loving mother. Let us for a few moments pray for our own personal intentions. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear our petitions and grant them to the praise of Mary, our mother. Amen. During the past week, we received a total of 432 letters. Of these, 352 were petitions, 59 thanksgiving, and 21 private. And here are a sample of the petitions that were sent in. Dear Mother, we pray for the end of the spread of the coronavirus grants those infected a quick and full recovery, please protect all those who are helping to treat and care for the patients. Mother Mary, I come to you looking for answers in my life. I am confused. Guide me to the right path and fill my heart with wisdom and peace. Please, Mother, save my father's life He'll be going for an operation on Wednesday. Dearest Mother of Perpetual Help, I lost my job a year ago. Please pray that God will bless me with a job soon. Dearest Mother Mary, my husband and I have been married for 10 years and we are not young anymore. We have been praying and trying to have a child. Please grant us the chance to have a baby. Dear Mother Mary, please keep my nephew safe and sound as he enlists for national service. Dear Mother Mary, our neighbour has had a recurrence of breast cancer. Please pray for her. We now listen to some of the Thanksgiving letters that were also sent in. Dearest Mother Mary, there are no words that can express how grateful and thankful I am to you together with my family. All my prayers that I ask from you through your son Jesus Christ are really answered. One of those is about my daughter-in-law that she will conceive. Now she is pregnant and this is a great blessing to all us all. This will be my first grandchild. Thank you, dearest mother, for listening to my prayers. I love you, Mother Mary, your grateful daughter. Dear Mother of Papacha Help, thank you for your intercession toward this period. When the <coughs> virus outbreak started, I wonder if it will affect my family and income. I come to your shrine, sought your intercession, and reminded myself to leave everything to God. Though business is affected, the situation is manageable. I have some Korean customers to make up the drop in the business. For that, I am grateful. Thank you once again for your intercession, unfailing love and help, and keeping us safe. Your grateful daughter. Dear Mother Mary, thank you for your prayers and healing my relationship with my daughter. I will treasure my daughter and the rest of my children more from now on. 
My daughter is recovering from her depression. Mother, I ask for your continual prayers for her full recovery. Thank you, Mother Mary and the Lord Jesus. Let us take one more Thanksgiving letter. Dearest Mother Mary, thank you for your kind intercession for the past two weeks with the outbreak of the coronavirus. It has been a trying period for the healthcare sector where I work, having to work the whole of the Chinese New Year period, exhausted and hitting so many roadblocks. I was ready to break down. Then last Friday, my dad had an incident before his flight, and we had to rush him for medical help. Through this whole time, all I could do was to seek God's grace. True enough, we proved true with God's grace. My dad's condition stabilized and the situation at work has eased. I pray that everyone's safety during this period and may people see the good in others during this time. May we remember to be kind as Jesus had taught us to be, your Catholic daughter. So let us continue then with our prayer of confidence on page 34. Mother of perpetual help, we come to you and place our trust in you. You are a mother of mercy. You are called by all the refuge and the hope of sinners. Be then our refuge and our hope. Help us for the love of Jesus Christ. Stretch out your hand towards poor sinners. We bless and thank God for giving us this confidence in you. In the past, we have so often sinned, but with your help, we can conquer and you will help us if we pray to you. In all our temptations, may we always turn to you and say, Mary, help me never to lose my God. Amen. The Magnificat. Let us share with Mary her prayer of praise and thanksgiving to God. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. He looks on his servant in a nothingness. Henceforth, all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is his name. His mercy is from age to age on those who fear him. He puts off his arm in strength and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sent to reach away empty. He protects Israel, his servant, remembering his mercy, the mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Mary, you are the mother of Christ, and you are the mother also. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you with all our heart. Forgive us, Mary, to be our mother. She is so loving, so thoughtful, so understanding, and so kind. We thank you for her. Amen. Our hymn to Mother Mary is on page 59. O come to the throne of grace. For this novena, there will be not much uh, announcement except for one. We encourage you to write letters of petitions and letters of thanksgiving during this time 
via our app and our website, whichever one you choose to do. My dear friends, welcome to this special telecast novena. We continue with the novena, the special novena. This is now in the third week. The theme this year is a new spring. And this week, the third week, the theme is listen where I am with God. Now, my friends, to be with God, we need to listen, to listen to his voice, the voice of the Holy Spirit. Listening is important. Unfortunately, we tend to not do this very well. When we pray, for example, we have a tendency to talk a lot, as if God don't know much about our situation. And because we talk so much, we don't keep silent to listen to what God is saying to us. Hence, often we go where we want to go. And because of that, we end up where God didn't tell us to go. And because of that, we also get a bit lost. If you were to read Psalm 139, Psalm 139, it's a beautiful psalm. It tells us that God knows everything about us. He knows us even before we were born in our mother's womb. He knows the word that we want to say at the tip of our tongue, even before we say it. The psalm basically is saying to us, I know everything about you, about your situation. Yes, it is necessary for us to articulate our anxiety, our worries, our fears when we pray, because they help us. But at the same time, we must also spend some time in silence to let God speak. And when God speaks, we need to listen with our hearts. I want to give you an example of a good listener. This person is St. Joseph, the foster father of Jesus. There were at least two incidents in which St. Joseph was a bit stressed and worried about his situation. The first one was when Mary, even though not yet married to him, was found with a child. St. Joseph wanted to divorce her discreetly, being a gentleman. But God sent an angel to speak to him. The angel said, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, because the child in her womb is that of the Holy Spirit. St. Joseph listened and did as he was told. Now, that is the first example. The second example was after the birth of Christ. Herod wanted to get rid of Jesus. Again, the angel was sent by God to Joseph to tell him, Joseph, take your wife and your child and escape because Herod intends to kill him. Once again, Joseph listened and again did as the angel told him. So he is an example of a good listener, listening to the voice of the Holy Spirit and did as he was told. He didn't ask the question, why? You know? The other person, of course, is none other than Mother Mary when she was told that she is chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus. Although, again, she had anxiety, she asked, how can this be? Because I'm a virgin. Again, the archangel Gabriel told her, do not be afraid, Mary, because the Holy Spirit 
will overshadow you. Mary also did the same thing. She said, let what you say to me be done. A good listener also, because they listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Allow me to pose a question to all of you. Where am I? In fact, this is a theme of the third week. Listen, where am I with God? Often, we find ourselves in a place that is not comfortable, in a place we don't want to be. In the letters that were read to you earlier, people were suffering from illness, people suffering from financial situation, people are anxiety. There's one letter about somebody's daughter in suffering from depression. So these are the places we don't want to be. So where am I with God? And versus where I find myself present. Sometimes I am in a place presently because I did not listen to God. I did not heed his voice like Joseph and Mary. So I end up in another place where God never intended me to be. So listening will help us to find our way with God. Even if we get lost, we can still return to God if we take the trouble to listen. When we listen, then God can give us guidance. In that sense, prayer is the key. Prayer is essentially conversation with God, talking and listening, reflecting and discerning. If we listen well, we reflect well, we discern well, we will know our way back to God. That essentially is the lesson today. I'd like to end with a quotation that was given to me you know, some time ago, which I find very helpful, and perhaps it will help you also. The biggest communication problem is we do not listen to understand. We listen to reply. I repeat, the biggest communication problem is we do not listen to understand, we listen to reply. So may the Holy Spirit speak in our hearts and may we listen well. So let us continue then with uh, the prayer of Mamariya on page 36. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, there never was it known that no one who fled to your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, I fly to you, Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To you I come before you I send, sinful and sorrowful, mother of the word incarnate, despite not my petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer me. We now pray for the sick, especially those who are suffering from the COVID-19 virus. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carry our sorrows. Hear our prayers for the sick. Help them unite themselves with the suffering, and if it's your will, may they get better. Let them forget that you care for them. Amen. We now pray for the Holy Father's intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and in the hour of our death. Amen. The hymn is on page 38, and for him thy eyes are pleading, verses 3 and 4. Yes, we 
Have given them bread from heaven. Heaven itself all delight. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament you have left us a moment of your passion. We ask you to bear us to worship the sacred mercy of your body and blood. There may be constantly feel in our lives the effects of the redemption. You who live and reign forever and ever.
Let's be the glorious assumption. Let's be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Let's be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Let's be God in His angels and in. Our final hymn is on page 61, O Purest of Creatures. Thank you for your participation. May God bless you and our mother, Papa Chok, continue to pray and intercede for all of us. Amen. <laughs>